const, let, and var. Which one do you use and how often? Most of the time, you're gonna use const. That's it, that's what you'll have to do. But let's go ahead and play around with it and see how these various things work. So I have this component, const let var, made this up just for this video. Uh, it's an app.js, it, it has no context other than what we're gonna talk about. Okay, so I have a constructor here, I got for hello world working, and if I have npm run start, this is what's going on. So what I wanna do is first off declare a variable. So I'll just do var, this is a standard JavaScript way of declaring a vari variable, and we'll just go ahead and say some var equals to hello world. Right, so with this, I can actually go in my constructor and do console log some var, and I can also do the same thing in my render function. The, these two console logs will actually show us what's going on with the actual variable itself. So notice var is outside of the class itself, right? So that's that's sort of key here, which we'll get into. Um, so I go ahead and run that, refresh, and I've got two hello worlds here, looking good so far. Now, if I go in this constructor and change some var to something different, such as like, hello there again, my old friend, we refresh in there, and what do you know? Both actual variables that are being referenced are now hello there again. So this is an attribute of a var. So you can declare it wherever you'd like, right? So I could even declare it, just declare it, and then console log it. So this actually sets it or initializes it, and then we console log it down below, right? And it will still be that same message. Now, of course, if I actually didn't set that, what would it be? Well, it's gonna be undefined. That hopefully makes sense. Then of course, if I set it down in the render method, what's gonna happen here? Well, it's only gonna be defined in one place. So this also tells you something else about how components work. Constructors work by default. When this component is being constructed, that's the first thing that's called. Render is called last. Or at least I, I believe it's in that order. Render is definitely one of those last things that are called. Constructor is one of those first things that are called. That's important. Okay, so, but now we've got this variable. Let's, uh, let's look at something like const, okay? So I type out const and I got all these errors. Well, const, you actually want to set it first. So you actually want to initialize it. Hello there, right? So we save that and we refresh and what do you know? Const also won't let me redefine it, right? So it's, you shouldn't be doing that. If you're going to redefine it, you won't use const. So in my case, I just redefine, or I just define it one time and then I use it throughout. But more often than not, what you'll actually end up doing is put it inside of one component or one piece of this. So one method is where you would actually end up putting it, something like this. So this const is just for this one method. We save that, we refresh in there. And of course I get a not defined error inside of this render function because it's actually not defined. It's only defined in that constructor, so it's not everywhere. If you wanted it to be everywhere, you can use something like state, which, which we haven't talked about yet in this series, but what I will say is that's something that you can do. You can actually absolutely pass around things like this. Um, but const is one of those as aspects that you pretty much leave it as is. You don't necessarily need to change it. Now, let is one of those that you would probably use otherwise. So you're most likely gonna be using const and let on your projects, on your React components. Var is, is um, sort of an older syntax for JavaScript and let in, let in const is what you'll see more often than not. What you have with let is the ability to redefine it. So what's cool about this is that means that in our conditions, if you have some sort of conditional there, like this, so hello there, and you wanted to redefine it based off of that, this is the way you'd go about doing it, right? So if you were using this in something like state, which we'll still show you, this is how you'd go about redefining it. And that's it. I mean, that's const let and bar. Now, again, const you'll use most of the time, let you'll use when you need to change something about that variable, and then var is more of a global thing, so you'd actually put it, um, you might put it outside of the class and use it that way, Th that's acceptable, but you probably can use let for the exact same thing. So just get in the habit of using const and let, and then realize that stuff like let and const only work inside of that same method. 
var is not going to be a whole lot different. So if I said sum var 2 and I define it in a method and try to console log this in a different method, what's going to happen? Well, we still get that same error. So this is this is a property of JavaScript if you're not familiar with that part. Um, like when you define a variable inside of a method or a function, you can't necessarily automatically use it in another function unless you bring it outside of that function or outside of the class that's referencing it. And so if you do have values that are gonna be needed in other methods on your React component, like so the constructor has one and then render has that same one that it needs, and the constructor's actually setting it, much like this, right? So obviously something like this doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but like this.props, if you had it like that, like you were referencing a prop and then you changed it, you would change the value of whatever that variable is, right? So you're not actually changing the prop, but you're changing the value of the variable, the value that's coming through. You could change it this way. And then with that constructor, you would change the state. That's how you'd be able to use it in different methods, right? That's probably a little confusing because we haven't really talked about it a whole lot. So that's something we'll do in the next video. So make sure you subscribe to get everything and I look forward to seeing you guys next time.